I'm so excited you're here because I have several Easter farmhouse DIYs that you're not going to want to miss. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Okay, friends, for DIY number one, we're going to do this absolutely gorgeous bunny garland from my chalk site. I will leave all of the items that I used in this video down in the description box below, as well as the pinned comment. But I thought that these craft kits were just so fun. I know a lot of you are intimidated by DIY and a lot of projects I do, I get a lot of comments saying I can't do that. Um, I love the projects, but it's just a little bit too advanced for me. So I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity for those of you who are nervous about DIY to be able to feel better to start out crafting. With these craft kits, it literally has every single thing that you need in the kit. So I thought it was perfect because it also comes with step-by-step -step instructions that you see to my left. So like I said, everything that you need comes in this kit. And it says that you need to start off by taking the bunnies out and cutting your transfers up and then transferring on the images to your bunnies. Now it has a transfer for both sides of your bunnies. So I'm going to start with the bunny uh, looking to the left and I'm going to transfer on those flowers with my new Easter egg chalk paste. I believe this is called eggshell blue. Now, even though the new transfers are see-through, so it's much easier to line them up, I find that the easiest way to line these up perfectly is to actually lay your transfer sticky side up and then lay down whatever shape or um, like, for instance, this is bunny. So whatever you're doing, lay the shape down on top of the sticky side up and it's just so much easier to line up. If that made absolutely no sense because I feel like I trip over my words, y'all, these voiceovers are not easy to do, but I know that you guys love them. So I just step outside of my comfort zone and do what I need to do. But, um, if that made no sense, you could see what I was doing. And then, so for the second bunny, I did go ahead and use the paste that came in the packet. And this chalk paste is called Peachy Keen. So I just transfer those on the one side, peel back my transfers, and then I also do the second side. Now I always dry in between coats, and I did just want to put a little disclaimer. My little buddy is having such a good time watching TV. He is out in the living room, but I can still hear him. So if you guys hear him, that's why he's all excited watching TV with his dad. So anyway, once I was transfer once I was done transferring on the bunnies, then I go ahead and I glue down the little tails that come in the kit as well with some hot glue. Next, I'm going to take the paste that I put in the trays and it comes with the trays as well as a squeegee. Now, I didn't end up using the gold or I believe that's called Shimmer Harvest and I did not use it like I said so I wish that I wouldn't have wasted the packet, but I did put it in a bag and used it for something else, so no big deal. The other colors that I used was that eggshell blue because it matches my decor that I've been making for Easter, and then the peachy keen I did um, use and to make paint, and the easiest way to paint these beads is to separate your beads into different baggies and then you add a little bit of water to the paste mix that up and then you're going to add that to your bag and just kind of smush the beads around in the paint now i do not recommend for you guys to use the bags like i did that came with the beads in the kit because they do have holes in the bags. So definitely use a different bag. I ended up having paint all over my hands, which is really no big deal to me. Everybody always asks me how I keep my nails so clean, and I do use the Dixie Bell Scrubby. 
So there's a little tip for y'all. But anyway, once I was done painting my beads in the bags, then I go ahead and just dump those out on a paper plate and dry them with my blow dryer. Now the eggs for some reason did not want to take the chalk paste paint. I believe I just put too much water. Um, but I actually loved the way that they turned out. They kind of looked like they had that crackle effect. So it really didn't bother me. However, if it does bother you, then I would suggest just you hand paint these eggs. Next, I'm going to take the jute that comes in this kit. I'm also going to take a little bit of painter's tape onto the end, which the instructions do instruct you to do. And then I'm going to create a little knot on the end of my jute. And then I'm just going to do the pattern like I saw on the paper. So it was two of the smaller beads. And then it went like the blue to smaller beads, the egg to smaller beads, and so on and so forth. Again, if that made absolutely no sense, then you can see what I'm doing here. And then once I was done stringing all of my beads onto the garland, then I went ahead and tied a knot on that end as well. In order to create several tassels at once, I'm about to show you guys how easy it is. So you just want to double up your jute. So this came with two strands because you're going to need two tassels. So I just used that entire roll and wrapped it around my hand as many times as it could go. Then originally I was just going to separate it as you see here and cut it. And then I was like, okay, let me just cut the end and then separate it in the middle and then I'll have two tassels. So if you're creating four tassels, if you're creating two like I'm doing here, then just wrap it around your hand a bunch of times, cut it at the end, and then separate it as you see fit. So I separate my tassels, and then I'm going to pull the ribbon that came in the kit. Look how gorgeous these are. Now, they match the colors that came in the kit, so if it bothers you to have mismatched colors, then definitely go ahead and use the colors in the kit. But it didn't really bother me because I still felt that it was very spring-like and festive. So I love the way that it look, but looked, or I should say looks. But if you don't, if it bothers you, then definitely go ahead and just use the colors that come in the kit. Or if you don't have chalk paste, obviously, then that's all then that's the only option that you have so anyway once I figured out um, how I wanted my ribbon now I was kind of debating should I put it on top should I put it on bottom and then I got the bright idea to separate the jute and put half on top half at the bottom and then fold it and then I went ahead and cut two more smaller pieces of jute and tied those up at the top Next, I'm going to trim the ends of my little tassel so that way it is all even and looks cohesive. I then just repeat those same steps to create the second tassel. Next, I'm going to string it to the end of my garland. Now, again, I wasn't really too sure how I wanted this to sit, but I ultimately decided to put the tassel on first and then tie the bunny to the end of that, just creating a little knot so that the bunny would not fall through. And I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer on the other side, the second side. That way you can see exactly how I did this. Thank you. 
And just like that, you have an absolutely stunning Easter garland. Look how gorgeous those little bunnies are and the tassels and just the colors. They look so good with all of the decor that I made. If you guys have not seen my other spring Dollar Tree DIYs, I will leave that in the cards in the right hand corner for you guys. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this gorgeous craft kit. Hey y'all, if you guys are enjoying this content, I would greatly appreciate if you would subscribe and share this video out. It really helps my channel to grow and helps YouTube to notice me a bit more. Let's jump back in. Moving on to DIY number two, this is another super easy one. You guys, this is why I love Chalk Couture so much. You don't need a computer. You don't need a bunch of vinyl and all these other things. You don't need to know how to work a computer. Half the time, the software doesn't work and the machine doesn't want to connect to the computer then you got to do all this research it's 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 a lot you guys don't get me wrong i do enjoy the cricket for certain things however i feel that it's not very user friendly with this anybody can do it if my five-year-old at the time when i started using this can do it i know that anybody can do it which is why i love this product absolutely so much it saves me so much time there is no way that I would be able to do these details with a baby and with everything that I have going on as as well as there's no way you'd be able to get these details with vinyl. There's just no way in some instances. So anyway, I know I get a lot of flack for Chalk Couture, but like it's a crafting item. This is a crafting channel and I personally absolutely love love it. It's not because I'm part of Chalk Couture. I actually joined Chalk Couture after being a customer for so long. I wanted the discount. So if you guys want to learn how to get 40% off all of the items in the shop, text my number on the screen or I will leave it in the pinned comment as well. But this is one of our new crafting kits or not a crafting kit. It's a new item. It's a picture window frame. Look how cool this is with interchangeable like photos. You can transfer on whatever you want. This is our new chalk suede. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this side of this new picture frame. I know I talked a lot in that last little DIY, but I did transfer on the rabbit with my new orange color called Peach Cobbler. And then for the other details, I transferred that on with my eggshell blue and finished it with black. And I did do an ombre effect with the farms word. It's super easy. All you have to do is just transfer on one side transfer on the other side and then join them together with your squeegee so i did just want to mention that since i didn't get to in the last clip but for the second side i originally was going to do something that matched in color but i forgot that i purchased the color of the month this is the color of the month it's called dream car and it is my absolute favorite color i get that question a lot like melissa what is your favorite color this pink color right here my absolute favorite i love pink all together all shades but this particular hue and um like this particular color is my all-time favorite let me know down in the comments what your favorite color is i'm always curious to know so anyway i transfer on some of the wording the flowers and um, like I said the wording at the bottom the little banner with the new color dream car and then I transferred on the stem with my new color eggshell blue and then the rest with black and you guys these colors just look absolutely stunning together I was so happy with the color choice that I made so let me know down in the comments what you guys think of side number two and I just wanted to show you here how cool this is this does come with two different interchangeable pictures so that way you can have four images and I also wanted to show you how easily the chalk paste wipes right off of these chalk suede little pieces I mean seriously you guys look at this color I am in love I am so curious to hear what you guys think 
Okay guys, for our last and final craft kit, now technically this is not a craft kit because there are so many different pieces, but that is the beauty. If you have your own tiered tray, you can just leave out the tiered tray, grab the shapes and the tiered tray essentials and the transfers, and you are good to go. So again, I have left all of the items down in the description box below, as well as the pinned comment for you guys. And keep in mind that you can always add and subtract from your cart. I just like to show you guys the entire project that is on the site in case that you do want to um, do your own tiered tray and all the pieces. So we're going to start off by taking the tiered tray out of the box and then there is a tiered tray transfer. So the smaller piece is the greenery. I transferred that on with my eggshell blue. It's like a greenish blue. I can't explain it. It's absolutely gorgeous and I love it. Very, very farmhousey as well as perfect for Easter. So I loved it for both. So I transferred that on. You're going to transfer on one side, line up the circle with the middle hole, transfer on one side, dry it, and then flip it over and transfer on the other side. So I do that for the top again like i said with my eggshell blue and then for the bottom pattern i use my black chalk paste Now you can totally wash these transfers, dry them really well. So lay them sticky side up on a paper towel. Then you're going to take another paper towel and just wipe that dry. Don't wipe, don't wipe it so much that it gets sticky and your paper towel is left behind. But as long as it's wet and you wipe it quickly, you're totally fine. So once it's dry, then you can go ahead and transfer it on again. But in my opinion, it doesn't really matter when you're working with something like this. So once I had the bottom transferred on, then I'm going to take my tiered tray uh, cutouts. So these are the farmhouse slim cuts is what they're called, I believe. And for the little milk jug, I paint that black. And then I also paint the one side of the book stack with my ink Waverly chalk paint as well. Y'all, I swear my son is not screaming. He's literally talking to the TV. He's so funny. This last week, he has just become so um, outspoken. It's so funny. He talks to the TV. He talks to his sisters. He's just become such a character this last week. So anyway, I did just want to tell you guys he's not screaming. My husband is with him. So anyway, um, this is the part where you get to be really creative if you don't like the color choices that i'm using totally switch it up to suit your decor that's another reason i love chalk it's literally so customizable and so easy to use so for the next step i'm gonna take my camel chalk paste and i do not water this down at all i just dip right into the jar and um paint that next piece of the book stack next to the black stripe with that dune chalk paste or not dune camel good lord you guys <laughs> y'all know i can't talk anyway next i'm just gonna cut up the rest of my transfers and then i paint my chicken with that same camel paste as well now, if you are doing bigger pieces, I definitely recommend to add some water to your chalk paste just because it is a lot thicker than chalk paint and it is a little bit more tricky to work with when you're painting with it if you don't add water. Um, so I did just want to mention that. That's the other beauty with chalk paste. I know a lot of you guys don't want to splurge and get the jars, but I promise there are so many different things that you can do with chalk paste. So anyway, 
I go ahead and just lay all of my transfers out onto my pieces just so that way I can kind of see like which colors I wanted to use on which piece. So, so I'm going to take the little mini buffalo check transfer and I'm just going to lay that down at the bottom of my cutting board and transfer that on with my white chalk paste. Y'all, this literally took me about two seconds and look how crisp and clean that comes out. It literally never gets old. I could squeegee on that chalk base and pull up the transfer to reveal the image over and over and over again and it literally never gets old. So once I dry that buffalo check little image then i'm going to take my farmer's market image and i'm going to transfer on the chicken and the farmers with my white paste and there's this little line right above the farmers and then i'm going to transfer on the little design next to the chicken and the wording with my black paste For the pig, I transfer him on with my black paste as well. Again, I peel back that transfer and look at the detail on that pig. Absolutely stunning. And then for the chicken, I use my chicken transfer and transfer that on with my white paste. For the milk jug, I also transfer that on with my white paste. And then once I peel back the transfer, I dry it really well with my blow dryer. Next, I cut just little teeny pieces off of a greenery pick and I just glue that down to the top of my little cutting board. For the pig and the chicken, it came with these cute little sayings, cluck and oink. So I transfer on the cluck with my black paste and then oink with my white paste. Next, I'm going to take this little milk transfer that came with the other transfer and I go ahead and I transfer that on with my black chalk paste. Now the tear tray essentials kit comes with this cute little frame, this little picture frame, I should say. And the beauty about this is you guys can customize this like i said so just because i use this image on this particular piece does not mean that you have to use that there's several different ones that you can use but i personally loved the farm fresh eggs Next, I made a simple bow with some black and white buffalo check ribbon, and this little itty bitty uh, bow is so cute. So I glue that down to the top of my cutting board, and then I'm gonna transfer on the blessed transfer to my mini rolling pin using the ombre effect with my camel chalk paste at the top and black at the bottom and once again like i said it's super easy to do this ombre effect all you have to do is squeegee on like half of your color to half of whatever image you're transferring on and then the second color to the bottom half and then join them together in the middle with your squeegee Now y'all know I love to show my mistakes. So I pulled up my transfer a little too quickly and in the D part, my 
paste kind of bled through into that space and y'all know I'm super OCD so I waited for it to dry and then I just took a tiny little brush and I painted that white next I made a simple bow again with that buffalo check ribbon and glued that down to one side of my mini rolling pin and look how cute that is I am absolutely loving the way that these turned out so for the mini board and base, I took the shiplap transfer, transferred that on with my camel paste, pulled that up, and then I let that dry. Then I took this Live Simply transfer, I transferred on the wreath with my eggshell blue, and then the wording with my white chalk paste. And y'all, how stinking cute is this little mini board and base? Now, we do have bigger board and bases in the chalk shop under um, surfaces. That's what it was. Yeah, there's so many different surfaces that you can choose from. And the board and base is reusable. You can take your board eraser and some water and erase that and add as many images as you like. So I figured I would um, mention that. But once I was done with the little mini board and base, then I go back to the book stack and I transfer on Home Sweet Farm. The Home Sweet, obviously, I used my white paste. I made sure that each layer was dry before I moved on to the next word. And then I transferred on the farm with my black paste. Next, I'm going to take that same buffalo check ribbon. I also forgot to mention for the smaller bows, I did cut this in half just because I didn't have anything smaller and it was just a little bit too bigger, too big. Yeah, it was too bigger, you guys. <laughs> Y'all know I can't talk, but it was just a little bit too thick, I should say for the smaller DIYs. But for this book stack, I thought that it was absolutely perfect. So I do go ahead and glue that all the way around my book stack. And then as you can see here, I made a finger bow. If you guys would like to learn how to make 11 different bows super easily, I will leave that in the cards in the right hand corner. Or you can always tap the three dots in the right hand corner and slow this down. That way you can see what I did here. Once I was done creating my little bow, then all I did was glue that to the top of my book stack. And that was it for this entire project, you guys. I am loving the look of this farmhouse tiered tray. I love that you can customize it to suit your decor. You can change up the colors. You can change up the images. You don't have to use the images that I use. And I just love how gorgeous this is. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think which part of this DIY was your favorite which craft kit was your favorite will you guys be grabbing this let me know so as always thank you guys so much for being here nothing that I do would be possible without you guys and I want you to know if nobody has told you today you are absolutely stunning you are worthy you are gorgeous you can literally do anything you set your mind to Coming from an addict eight years clean and somebody who just recently lost 80 pounds, trust me when I tell you, if I can do it, then you can do it as well. If you guys need any Chalk Couture info, how to save 40% off everything, or if you want to know how I lost the 80 pounds, text my number on the screen and I will get you guys that info. Me and JJ say we love you and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.